Hi, KG Peers. Welcome to week six remote art learning. And our third task option for this week is redecorating some old terracotta pots or plastic pots, depends what you have at home. So I've gone into my garage. I've found some terracotta pots that could use a bit of jazzing up. Um, you can then put, uh, grow some nice things in them for spring now that the weather's starting to warm up. Um, I've got some paint markers that I got for a few dollars at Kmart. You can get normal coloured ones and metallic ones. And I've also got a couple of little terracotta pots also from Kmart. They're pretty fun. Um, but really I want to get these old pots that have been sitting in my garage for quite a while. I want to get them looking a little bit nicer. Now, if you have plastic pots at home, that's perfectly fine. We can paint those plastic pots using permanent markers or paint, different types of paint, or our paint markers. If you are um, painting terracotta like I am, the markers are a really good way to go because um, if you use paint on terracotta over the next year or so, not in the next few days, uh, the paint will start to peel off. Um, it's not quite a bad thing, you can always then scrub, scrub it all off and start again in a year, but if you don't want that paint to come off, you can always buy a sealant and you just spray that on the inside, wait till it dries and it'll stop the moisture creeping through the clay because these pots are made of terracotta clay and the moisture will seep through and start to um, peel off any paint that we put on the outside. So we've got a few different things happening here. So think about what you have at home, what you can use and what you can't use. I'm using terracotta pots. I've got some paint markers that I got from Kmart and I've had a bit of a test of those and a couple of them do not show up really well on the terracotta clay. So I'm gonna move those two out. I've got some metallic paint markers also from Kmart and I found the bronze because it's a very similar colour to the terracotta. That didn't show up. I've got my grey lead and my rubber. So I need to have those to plan out what I'm going to do. I also have just some normal metallic markers. Okay, they're not paint markers, they're just metallic markers. They show up really well because they're nice and thick. And I've got some paints that I had at home ready to go. So one option for what you can do if you've got the time is you can have a go at painting your pot white. That will help your colours show through really, really well if you're not using the markers. Some of the markers show up really strongly, but if you want your terracotta pot to be really, really vibrant and have those really, really strong colours, you can always paint your pot white. Now, I'm not going to paint my big pot um, white because I don't have that much white paint at home. I've had a go at painting my little one white, that's okay. But with my big one, I'm just going to get straight on with my design. I've actually Googled terracotta pot designs and I found one that has cats all along it. So I'm going to make my one a cat one. Alrighty, you might not be able to see my design too well because it's in a grey lead, but now I'm going to start colouring in each cat a different colour and then I can outline them afterwards and I can draw some features on them afterwards. Now, as I'm starting to make my way around my pot, um, I'm starting to have to grab the bits that I've already coloured on. Uh, most of it's dry, but it's still a little bit tacky, so you can put your hand inside and balance the pot on the inside of your hand so that you can um, colour the rest. All right, so as I was um, coloring in my cats, um, I found out blue smudges really easily, so I've got blue all over my hands. Um, I think the same could be said for if you're using paint. 
you might want to do this in sections just so that you give it an opportunity to dry. Make sure you use a thin paintbrush if you are going to um, paint in your cats. Now I've had to play around with the metallic markers to see which one I like the best and I really like the silver. You might like a black marker or something. I might use a black marker to go around my cats and then the silver for some whiskers. Alrighty, so I have finished colouring in, outlining and whiskering my cats and I've also added a bit of trim using my silver because I really liked how the silver turned out. So I've used that to go around the top of my pot. Now all we need to do is pop some dirt, some soil into our pot. Make sure it has a bottom, it usually comes with the pot. Um, and then decide what we're going to plant in it. I think I might plant some dill. So here we have my pot, I've got some soil. If you're not too sure what to plant, you can always pop over to the video on creating an egg carton garden. And in that video, I actually um, cut open some fruits and veggies to get the seeds out. And I plant some tomato and capsicum. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put some dirt in there. I've decided I'm going to plant some dill because I just so happen to have these seeds and it does say it needs full sun all year round so that might be good um, given that it's going to be spring soon so the trip off the top of that don't need to put too many seeds in there don't need to use the whole thing Hold that back over, pop it back in, might want to plant some more of that later. And then we're going to put some dirt on top. Now make sure you're not just using sandy dirt, it does need to be soil, it has to have some sort of nutrient to it. So you can always add a fertilizer, you can add some compost, some um, coffee grinds, um, lots of different things to make that soil more nutritious. And then we are going to give it a bit of a spray. We want to spray enough that the water is getting down to those seeds and all of that soil that I put in there, which is all fluffy, is now becoming more compacted. So it's all sinking down and becoming more dense. There we go. So hopefully my new cat pot will grow some dill. I hope everyone's had lots of fun designing your pot if you have a pot at home. Um, if you didn't have the materials to do this activity, it's a good one to save for the holidays um, when you might next be at Kmart and you can say oh maybe we can get the paint markers or I hope everyone's had tons of fun today creating their um, cat or whatever design you chose to do. Pop.